Donald Trump's criminal trial continued on Monday with the judge fining the former president another $1,000 over violations of a gag order and warning the defendant that further violations could land him in jail. It's not the first time Trump's been held in contempt of court by Justice Juan Merchan, who last week fined Trump $9,000 for the same reason, violating a gag order prohibiting him from making comments about potential witnesses, jurors, or court staff related to his trial. He remains free to criticize the judge and Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Trump stands accused of falsifying business records for what prosecutors say was a hush money payment to an adult film star. The district attorney alleged that in the waning days of the 2016 presidential election, Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, paid Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep her quiet about what she claims was a 2006 sexual affair with a former reality TV star. Prosecutors say Trump didn't want the reported affair to become public as he sought the White House and accuse him of hiding repayments to Cohen by falsely labeling them, quote, legal expenses. They have absolutely no case. It's a political hoax. It's election interference. Trump has pleaded not guilty, denies the affair, calls the prosecution an attempt to undermine his presidential campaign, and on Monday continued to rail against what he's called an unfair gag order. And I'm not supposed to be talking about it. But I am allowed to say that the judge has a conflict that, like, nobody's ever had before. You ought to take a look at it. He's taken away my constitutional right to speak. Prosecutors on Monday, the 12th day of the trial, showed jurors business records documenting payments from Trump to his former lawyer, Cohen. A former employee of the Trump Organization testified that he was told by the company's top financial official that the payments were reimbursements to Cohen, not legal fees. Prosecutors said $420,000 was paid to Cohen in installments over 2017 and was meant to reimburse the lawyer, cover some of his costs and taxes, and included a $60,000 annual bonus. Not fair, but we will fight. Thank you. Mr. President, how's your defense team doing? The main players in the case have yet to testify, including Cohen and Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford. If found guilty, Trump could face up to four years in prison, though defendants typically face fines and probation.